Welcome to day one of the quarantine. Us being foreigners, we're kind of looked at right now as like a danger. We're secret hoarders and didn't even know it. It's kind of walking dead like. This is day 25 of our quarantine. Big as my head. Hi guys. My chicken dance. Chicken dance. In last week's episode, we took you on a tour of a family-owned chocolate farm in the jungles of Tabasco before making our way to the coast for months of self-isolation. And today, look at this beautiful fish. We show you what it's like to quarantine in paradise. If you're new here, we're Howard and Caitlin Newstate. For the past two years, we've been full-time traveling all over the globe and living as digital nomads in our Winnebago RV. Right now, we're in the middle of a six month journey. That was awesome. Through central and coastal Mexico. Throughout Mexico, it's BYOTP. Each week, I got the goods. We bring you along with us to explore local cultures. We learned so much. Go off the beaten path, conquer fears. I'm still processing the fact that I just did that. Meet interesting people and try local food. Chicharron pensado. Through the good and sometimes bad, you're right beside us through it all. I think we found a pretty sweet spot to self-isolate for, you know, what a month. Uh, today is March 21st. We're just now starting to feel the effects of everything here in Mexico. And what I think is really interesting is that us being foreigners, we're kind of looked at right now as like a danger because they don't know how long we've been in Mexico. Once we tell people how long we've been here, they realize that we didn't just come in from the United States or somewhere else and could be carrying this. So it's just, it's a, it's a very interesting time. I will say I think that the people are taking coronavirus much more seriously than it's being portrayed in the media of Mexico. I think once you kind of break down that, that barrier, things are good. Do you guys want to go to the beach? You want to go to the beach? Having the beach at your doorstep is pretty ideal if you're in quarantine. But for the Puggles, Piper and Ella, they love the beach. And so this was like heaven. Piper, are you excited? Hi guys. Hi. This is the first time we have left the campground <laughs> compound since Friday, really. We're gonna take a walk, there's a pedestrian bridge. So we're gonna do that while social distancing and then head back to our little safe haven. Just your everyday random fire. Do so much brush fire stuff here. Like. Kind of walking dead-like. Oh, I don't know if I'd call it a bad decision, just like a, a middle of the day sun. I don't know what you were thinking, but. Not, this was not a good idea, Keith. If I had more energy, I'd throw you in the water. Shade feels good. Am I die? I'm not gonna die. So baby, you got your cerveza, you got your hand sanitizer, and bottled ice water. I feel much better than I did about 20 Good. Howard has been talking about this since we got here last week. Translates to hands of crab. <laughs> crab, balls. crab is in season right now. It's March. That is so much crab. So 180 pesos, that's like $8 right now with the exchange rate. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell this. It's like butter. Share that. <laughs> Sharing. This is $3. This is three dollars worth of ceviche. I will never forget, as long as I live, how well we've eaten here for so little money. That was the perfect two-hour stop. We were there for two hours. I mean, let's see. All in, 
500 pesos, including tip. Now we're gonna... Now we're gonna cross. He can do it. But the, the sun's lower, so I'm hoping yeah. it won't be as hot. That was brutal. Brutal. That killed me. My Kelly and Dick. We had been following the news and knew further restrictions were coming. And without a major grocery store here on the island, we needed to stock up. So we headed about an hour into a neighboring city to go to Walmart. Our goal was to get as much as we could to hunker down for the next several weeks. All right, let's go put this cold stuff in the freezer bag. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Behold, all of the food which we will be eating over the next month to month and a half. Everything that's on this table right now, with the exception of a couple of items, we actually already had. We are adding to it a bunch of alcohol, as well as more dried goods, canned goods, sauces, uh, everything that we would need in order to prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner inside for at least a month. And here are two terrified dogs. They don't understand what's going on or why we have like everything out because you took a lot of stuff out of here right i did i took not everything but i took a lot out yeah we did inventory before we went so we knew what we needed we have so much almond milk so much rice electrolytes salsa canned goods including skyline chili it's critical we were secret hoarders and didn't even know it. <laughs> we brought hand sanitizer, we were cleaning our hands a lot. So we did the best that we could and you know then when we came back, I know it's a little bit of overkill but uh, we have the disinfectant wipes and so we wiped down every single package of everything before we brought it in. Now we're gonna start organizing all this stuff. <sighs> this is crazy. How do you feel Caitlin? Stressed out. You feel stressed out? Yeah. I mean, I'm a bit of a germaphobe anyway. So that was not a super fun experience for me. Some people were very respectful about distance and others just were not. And I just, I wish I had a mask, but I don't know. Oh. We, we can't find masks here. No. We didn't know it at the time, but the day after our Walmart trip, the entire state would stop selling alcohol. So we were really glad that we stocked up when we did. Albo toast. And the next week, all beaches were closed, making us very thankful for the time we did get to spend enjoying it. Welcome to day 40 or 50 or 60 or whatever of quarantine. Uh, today is May 9th and we need to go grocery shopping and I desperately need a haircut. As you can see, it's getting a little ridic. Um, there, right now in Mexico, essential services is still like grocery and what have you. It's not barber shops and salons. So nothing's really gonna happen here. But in order for us to go out grocery shopping, we need masks. And we're still waiting on the Mexican Postal Service to deliver the masks that uh, Don and Jason, um, our friends, um, High Rise to Highway, they made for us. And it's been weeks now and it's still stuck somewhere in the Mexican Postal Service. So anyway, we have these temporary masks and I think we're gonna maybe buy a whole chicken too because Caitlin really is dying for some like delicious roasted chicken. Oh, I am? I am. <laughs> I will say we're almost out of protein. This is all that we have left. Not very much. So there's, there's one breast. One chicken breast. Um, these are like little egg. Um, veggie egg uh, things. Um, we've got two fish fillets. We have some ice and we have some frozen pineapple. And that's it. And that's it. <laughs> go time. We just got all of our produce and nobody's wearing masks today. It's the weirdest thing. Like, nope, we're the only ones. And I don't really know why. Yeah, they were so strict about it before. So I'm not really sure what's going on. There's no rhyme or reason. But now we're walking to get our chicken, hopefully. My chicken dance. Chicken dance. That's about $6 for a whole chicken, tortillas, soup, 
Um, yeah, I forgot the soup. Yes, yeah, soup. <laughs> soup. <laughs> we don't know. We're gonna find out. We're we'll gonna. Do, we'll do an unboxing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. All the rage. But um, it's really great that um, that these kinds of places are still open. Uh, do we need from Oxo? Uh, yeah, still go to Oxo. So Oxo is like a 7-Eleven. And here, I'll take that. Only one family member can go in at a time. Yep, so I'm the designated family member. Because <laughs> he has the credit card. Waiting outside while Howard's in the OXO and a tr uh, two trucks of a bunch of Marines just went by. So they're patrolling the area, making sure that uh, people aren't out on the beach and that I think people are just following the rules here on the island. Okay, so we have our chicken delight and it's kind of like a surprises pack because we're not really certain what comes with it. So Caitlin, you think there was pasta? Well, the sign said spaghetti. Yeah, so here's, I think soup, looks like. Uh-huh. Oh my God, spaghetti. <laughs> oh, so funny. Well, yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Mm. Um, okay, so we got some totopes, some uh, totopos, totopos, tortilla chips. Tortillas, <laughs> um, arroz, some rice, mm -hmm. y pollo. So this is like um, marinated and grilled chicken. Uh, got some hot peppers and then some pickled onions. This is the first meal that we've actually purchased um, when we first got here, outside we of here. Yeah. yeah, we had stone crab. Um, we did have a meal that was prepared by the restaurant mm -hmm. here. Caitlin, what is your favorite part of this meal? The pickled onions and the chicken combination is very tasty. Knowing that they had everything ready to go and it was that simple, I think we'll do that again. We've been cooking a lot. I am stuffing this fish with some garlic. Meanwhile, I am chopping veggies. Look at this beautiful fish. What you think? Worth it. It's delicious. As big as my head. And I think we're gonna make shrimp and broccoli stir fry. I'm frying up some tortillas right now because we're gonna be making cochinita pibil, some of our really inexpensive avocado. This is a cilantro lime salsa. I actually have been baking for the first time. This is like my fifth or sixth uh, banana bread that I've made. Yeah. Oh yeah, birthday spread. My favorite breakfast, French toast topped off with roasted pineapple, all on our trusty CRE table. Making homemade fish nuggets. And veggies. Panko bread crusted. And a little bit of Slap Your Mama seasoning on there. And That's what it's called, Slap Your Mama. <laughs> I'm not trying to be some kind of fool here. Slap Your Mama. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. Okay. And then we're gonna have a sauce with it that we made last night. Oh my god! <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that would have been bad. Oh, we would have had some happy dogs. Ha! And some sad humans. Mm -hmm. So this is stovetop cast iron shakshuka. I've made this a couple times before, but definitely never comboed it with Mexican beer. So that was two months of quarantine in 15 minutes. The national stay at home order is set to expire today, but locally nothing's really changed except the beach has kind of reopened. So we've been coming out here more, but we're still hunkered down and plan to stay in place for a little longer. Next week, we'll be revealing what might be the newest member of our household. So there's a teaser for you. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications when we post our weekly videos. Thanks for watching.